Se Maria Pia, deixa o príncipe falar. Senhores meus pais, eu quero que você é bombeiro. Fogo Fato, uh, Willow the Wisp, is a film, it's a musical comedy, a sort of a, like a musical fantasy, as I call it. And it's about a prince that wants to be a fireman. The title of the film, Fogo Fato, Fogo Fato is a phenomena, it's a natural phenomena that happens uh, usually in cemeteries. It's the, um, this uh, burst of flame that comes from the decomposition of, uh, of dead materials and from the gas that uh, is produced in that decomposition uh, from rotten things uh, somehow. Uh, and it's also something that throughout the ages, because it was, uh, people didn't understand what it was, uh, thought it was supernatural uh, and like a, a fantastic phenomena or a scary phenomena. And it's also something that is very quick. It, it happens and then it goes away. The film is not very long. It's only seven, 67 minutes. So, and it comes and goes away fast. And I thought, well, it's a, it's a story of, with firemen. Uh, so I thought it was a good title and quite, uh, quite a mysterious one for the film. It's a film with music and also, because the film is not only a comedy, the, like the, the, the genre, it's usually called a, a musical comedy. And, but the film is a comedy, but it's also a bit science fiction. And so I like the, I, this idea of fantasy that uh, is uh, perhaps a non-existent genre or at least on film. But uh, I think it describes quite well the, the tone of the film. Now, those songs were uh, already existed. Yeah. All songs were pre-existent to the film. That song is from the 80s. It was a song made, uh, it's a, a song called One Tree, A Friend. Uh, and it was a song made for the um, day of the tree. I don't. I think it still exists. I don't know which day it is, but uh, it's like it's a, a very pre-ecological because there was the ecological um, uh, discourse was still not very prevalent in the. But it was a way of um, make children attentive to the ecological problems and to the and to the trees in a very naive way, some sort of, because it was, it was for children. So it was from the 80s. Uh, and it was sung by, the, by uh, Joel Branco, who is the actor who plays uh, the, the prince uh, when he's old. So it's himself who sang. He was mainly a singer from the 80s, 90s, also an actor, but from like popular theater, mostly, and TV. And, uh, but it's him who sang the, the song in the 80s, originally. Para aparecer nas revistas. Não, senhor, é comandante. Um príncipe, bombeiro. Mas veja lá se fica pelo menos até dezembro. É que se fizermos o calendário deste ano consigo, talvez já dê para mandar reparar o telhado. Fire is a metaphor for many things. It's a metaphor for destruction. It's a metaphor for rebirth. Uh, is a metaphor for desire, of course. Even when you nowadays, when you when you have like this uh, communication through, uh, I don't know, through emails, and you, there's the symbol of liking. Usually, it's like a little flame. So, I think it's a pretty um, universal symbol uh, of many things. <laughs> One of them, uh, desire, of course. Every summer, for, for Portugal is devastated by forest fires. And not only Portugal, but we see the world is devastated by forest fires. And it has become something that is more serious than before when I was young. And of course, there were, there were always forest fires, but not with this dimension. And so that must mean that there is something wrong we are doing to the planet. And, uh, and something is not, we are disturbing the, the ecological, um, uh, balance of our our of nature and our planets uh, 
and that is one of, that was one of the main or departing points from for my, for making this film for the ideas of making this film this film was written before covid uh, and it was so there was no covid in the, the I, no, nobody would know that covid would exist at the time and unfortunately this happened so uh for me it was impossible having shot the film in no, last november not to bring up the 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 subject but also in a somehow um comical idea of because and it's the same like tackle these uh, serious subjects in a comical uh, context temos de fazer um teste para ver que tal é tens que acertar o nome da obra do pintor então adivinhas não já viste que os grandes mestres não são contigo tu vais dar olha 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 que o gajo é príncipe Comprei um praia bruta. Bandido, como é que brigaste? Because the film, the film uh, talks a lot about how you represent yourself in front of others, and um, I guess these people like the old aristocracy, and I mean they're. They, we have still their descendants. Um, we don't have a royal family anymore since uh, uh, 1910, when when the republic was uh, was uh, created. But we still have the descendants, uh, and um, and these people appear like in uh, people magazines, and uh, you know that sort of magazines, like they open their houses to the to the common people to, to, to see. And I find it very amusing this, that there's still this interest of other people, not mine, but, uh, but this way how they, they themselves portray themselves and think about the image they want to uh, give to the other people. And not just the royal family, the aristocracy and also celebrities. It's a little bit the same. And so the film departs from that idea of, uh, but also from a traditional, uh, may, a would be traditional family like our uh, our uh, our royal family, if it still uh, was a royal family. But I think these people also see themselves uh, as um, how do you say this? Les uh, héritiers, which they are of uh, of this uh, of our kings somehow. So. Somehow they are in the aristocracy. They are the top of the aristocracy. So uh, I, I, for me, it's interesting to think how you, how you yourself, uh, which image do you give to others, and what which image do you give also to you, and how do you see yourself? And I think it's that is also something that the prince Alfredo comes from a formal uh, education. And he he discovers a world that is totally the opposite somehow, and he discovers freedom.